course content. In this video tutorial, we're going to review course content and how you can navigate the content in your course. Now, course content is where you're going to find your course materials, such as the syllabus, lecture notes, handouts, learning modules, and more. So once you're inside a D2L course, you have two options for how to view content. You can select, under your course content, a specific folder or page, and after you begin visiting, this content, this box will be updated with the most recently viewed pages that you viewed. It's a quick and easy way to get back to where you were last in the course. You can also come up here to content. If you click up here, this is going to take you to the table of contents area, which sort of gives you a bird's eye view of the content. So let's start with this table of contents. I'm going to click up here on content, and here you can see that I'm on this table of contents page. It's going to bring me to where I last left off. So I'm going to come up here to Table of Contents. What you'll notice is that you can see the modules, which are kind of like folders that organize your course content here on the left-hand side. These are the upper-level modules in the course. Also here in the middle, this is a module, and this is the item within the module. And I can scroll down to view all of the modules and the information that's within them. I can also collapse modules if I'd like to, or I can come up here and I can choose Expand All or Collapse All. What you'll also notice is that your progress is displayed. I've completed all of the items and start here. Because I've viewed all those topics, I can see a green check indicating I've completed that module. Also, within each module, it will tell me how many pages I have left remaining, and if I hover, it will say, how many topics out of how many topics I have left. Up here at the top, you can get a general um, update of your progress within the whole course. So out of the total of 13 topics in the course, I've completed three, so I'm 23% completed in the course. You can also come down and see which of these items you have completed because you will see a check mark next to them. If you've not viewed a topic, you'll just see a circle. Now let's select a page of content to show you what that looks like. So here I am, I'm on a page of content, and if I'd like, I can go to the next page by clicking on this next button, or I can go to the previous page by clicking on the previous. I can pop the screen out and to view just this page, or I can bookmark. So I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this because I want to return to this page later. I'll show you how to find your bookmark pages in just a moment. The other item you'll find is the content slide-out bar. Here, it'll let you know what all the pages in a module. Let's go to the next module. See, I can quickly navigate to any module and select these items to jump to that area. Or I can click here to return to the table of contents. Now, the other thing I can do is I could use these breadcrumbs. I can come back to the module by clicking here, or I can go back to the page table of contents here. So let's return to the table of contents. Now, like I had said, you can bookmark pages. If I want to review the bookmark pages, I simply come up, click bookmarks, and now I can click back to this page to quickly return to any bookmarked items. You'll also notice in content, you can view your upcoming events, any of anything that's on the course schedule. <clears throat> so that's a review of course content and how to navigate your course content. Thank you.